Beagles were developed primarily for hunting hare, an activity known as beagling. Before the advent of the fashion for fox hunting in the 19th century, hunting was an all-day event, where the enjoyment was derived from the chase, rather than the kill. Although bred for hunting, beagles are versatile and are nowadays employed for various other roles in detection, therapy and as family pets. Beagles are used as sniffer dogs for termite detection in Australia, and have been mentioned as possible candidates for drug and explosive detection. Because of their gentle nature and unimposing build, they are also frequently used in pet therapy, and visiting the sick and elderly in hospital. Beagles have excellent noses which is why beagles are employed by the US Customs and Border Protection Agency. Beagles are also used as detection dogs in the Beagle Brigade of the United States Department of Agriculture. These dogs are used to detect food items and luggage being taken into the United States. Before we start, please take a moment to like this video. Please also ring the bell and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos. History In the 11th century, William the Conqueror brought the St. Hubert Hound and the Talbot Hound to Britain. Both of these strains were then crossed with Greyhounds to give them speed and stamina for deer hunting. Beagles are similar to the Harrier, and the extinct Southern Hound, though smaller and slower. From medieval times, Beagle was used as a generic description for the smaller hounds, though these dogs differed considerably from the modern breed. Appearance The general appearance of the Beagle resembles a miniature foxhound, but the head is broader and the muzzle shorter, the expression completely different, and the legs shorter in proportion to the body. They are generally between 13 and 16 inches, 33 and 41 centimeters high at the withers, and weigh between 18 and 35 pounds, 8.2 and 15.9 kilograms, with females being slightly smaller than males. They have a smooth somewhat domed skull, with a medium length square cut muzzle, and a black or liver gumdrop nose. The jaw is strong and the teeth scissor together, with the upper teeth fitting perfectly over the lower teeth, and both sets align square to the jaw. The eyes are large, hazel or brown, with a mild hound-like pleading look. The large ears are long, soft and low set, turning towards the cheeks slightly and rounded at the tips. Beagles have a strong, medium-length neck, with little folding in the skin, but some evidence of a dewlap. Beagles have a broad chest narrowing to a tapered abdomen and waist, and a long slightly curved tail, tipped with white. The beagle's coat is hard, medium-length and smooth. The tricolored beagle, which is white with large black areas and light brown shading, is the most common. Some tricolored dogs have a broken pattern, sometimes referred to as pie. These dogs have mostly white coats, with patches of black and brown hair. Personality The Beagle has an even temper, and gentle disposition. Described in several breed standards as merry, they are amiable and typically neither aggressive nor timid, although this depends on the individual. They enjoy company, and although they may initially be standoffish with strangers, they are easily won over. They make poor guard dogs for this reason, although their tendency to bark or howl when confronted with the unfamiliar, makes them good watch dogs. Beagles are intelligent but as a result of being bred for the long chase, are single-minded and determined, which can make them hard to train. They can be difficult to recall once they have picked up a scent, and are easily distracted by smells around them. They do not generally feature in obedience trials, while they are alert, respond well to food reward training, and are eager to please, they are easily bored or distracted. Beagles are excellent with children, and this is one of the reasons they have become popular family pets. But as beagles are pack animals, they are prone to separation anxiety, a condition which causes them to destroy things when left unattended. Not all beagles will howl, but most will bark when confronted with strange situations, and some will bay when they catch the scent of potential quarry. They also generally get along well with cats and other dogs. They are not too demanding with regard to exercise. Their inbred stamina means they do not easily tire when exercised, but they also do not need to be worked to exhaustion before they will rest. Health The typical longevity of beagles is 12 to 15 years, which is a common lifespan for dogs of their size. Beagles may be prone to epilepsy, but this can often be controlled with medication. Hypothyroidism, and a number of types of dwarfism occur in beagles. Two conditions in particular are unique to the breed. The first is funny puppy, in which the puppy is slow to develop and eventually develops weak legs, a crooked back and although normally healthy, is prone to a range of illnesses. And the second being muzzlet and Lukey syndrome, MLS, in which the eyes are slanted and the outer toes are underdeveloped, but otherwise development is as normal. 
Hip dysplasia, common in harriers and in some larger breeds, is rarely considered a problem in beagles. Weight gain can be a problem in older or sedentary dogs, which in turn can lead to heart and joint problems. Their long floppy ears can mean that the inner ear does not receive a substantial air flow, or that moist air becomes trapped, and this can lead to ear infections. Beagles may also be affected by a range of eye problems. Two common ophthalmic conditions in beagles are glaucoma and corneal dystrophy. Breeding The average size of a beagle litter is six puppies. When mother beagles give birth to litters of puppies, the pups weigh just a few ounces each. 